I'm an infectious disease epidemiologist, and let's talk about everyone's favorite, cruise ships. Now, if you like cruise ships or you're actively on a cruise ship right now, you might want to scroll past this because I want to share an interesting study that might make you think twice about cruising. News this week, the CDC announced another outbreak on a, on a cruise ship this week for 19 in total in 2025, which surpasses the total amount that we saw last year in 2024. Why do these outbreaks happen so often on cruise ships? Well, if you put everyone together in really close quarters and someone gets sick, norovirus spreads very fast. It's called the two bucket disease for a reason. But keeping cruise ships clean is critical, especially when people are sick. And this study published a few years back is one of my favorite about cruise ships because it shows just how hygienic cruise ships can or maybe cannot be. Well, these folks recruited a bunch of clinicians, over 56 cruise ships, and trained them how to do a certain test to see if surfaces are being cleaned in the public bathrooms on cruise ships. What they use is fluorescent dye. It's essentially like the detergent. You can place a clear drop of this liquid on, on a surface and then use a UV light and it shines really bright. So if someone cleaned that surface, that dye will no longer be there. So these clinicians, they would go every single day, dot the public bathrooms with this fluorescent dye, come back 24 hours later and saw that, did they actually clean any of these public bathrooms in a 24 hour period? And overall, they found that only 37% of bathroom surfaces on cruise ships are cleaned daily. This table breaks it down by different uh, surfaces that they actually sampled. The least cleaned one was actually the baby changing table in these public restrooms. And in a norovirus outbreak, cleaning surfaces and getting rid of norovirus in the environment is critical to stopping spread to additional people, especially when you're on a cruise ship and people are sharing these types of bathrooms where norovirus will typically spread as well. So back to the outbreaks. The CDC has an entire division called the VSP, the Vessel sanitation program that actively monitors these, monitors these outbreaks and requires cruise ships to report them. What defines an outbreak? Well, when 3% of passengers are reporting a GI illness, the cruise ship is mandated to actually report the outbreak to the CDC. And you can see here, you can actually go on the CDC's VSP website and see the active outbreaks and all the outbreaks from this past year and all last year's to see the details of each and every one of them and what was the causative agent. So I do want to say there are extensive reporting mandates that cruise ships are to follow and they have very strict guidelines for hygiene that they have to follow because outbreaks like these can occur very easily on these programs, on these ships. So there's plenty of effort to keep you safe while you're on a cruise ship. It's just the unique type of environment of a cruise ship that makes them more prone to outbreaks. So if you are actively on a cruise ship, I wish you to have a relaxing time and good luck.